When talking about gaming setups and people wanting to create their dream setup, it's often that people want to create one that's got three beautiful monitors in it. In all different kinds of arrangements, different sizes, aspect ratios, and so on. And in this video, I'm hoping to deep dive a little bit into the age old question as to if three monitors or a triple monitor setup is really worth it. So let's talk about it. Hey there and welcome to the channel today. I'm really excited to have you here for a video topic that I love talking about and you guys love uh, talking about with me and that is monitors. In both of my setups, I've got three monitors in the setup you see behind me and in my gaming and streaming setup. And I've had three monitors for quite some time now. I started out many years ago with just a single monitor on my laptop as a start and then getting one single external, then going to dual and then making my way up to three. And as you may or may not be able to tell considering now that I've got three in both setups that uh, I do like three monitors quite a lot. Three monitors are really handy depending on who you are and that's kind of pretty much my answer to this question as to are triple monitors really worth it? It really depends who you are and what you plan to use the monitors for. If you're a live streamer, YouTube creator, podcaster, or just any kind of content creator, I personally do recommend a triple monitor setup. When I was starting out in content, I didn't need necessarily all of the screen real estate that I have today, but as I developed and time went on and more technology developed and there were more and more software and things to have open on my screen, it, the need became higher. Editing with one monitor and then going to editing with two monitors is an absolute game changer. But the difference in the gap between two to three for just solely video editing is not huge. Whereas for live streaming going from two to three is enormous. In my gaming setup that I've spoken about so many times on this channel, I have one singular monitor in the middle of my desk dedicated for my games. I have the monitor on the left, which is an ultra wide 21 by nine monitor, which is dedicated for all my softwares and programs that I need to open at the time. And the vertical monitor on my right, which is dedicated to my Twitch live chat. Now, if I potentially say, get rid of the ultra wide from my setup entirely, and I just have the one monitor for my game and the one monitor for my chat. I would have to be sacrificing that screen space for my Twitch chat and making it smaller and making all of the other programs smaller alongside with it in an attempt to maximize the space on my screen. Obviously with an ultra wide, it's going to be different. However, with just a standard 16 by nine additional third monitor, it is really a game changer. Sometimes you don't actually really even know what to do with all of the space, but trust me, you'll find something to do with it. If you want to learn a little bit more about ultra wide monitors, there will be a link up in the card and down in the description below to a video I did talking about the benefits of ultra wide monitors. In addition to content creators as well, if you are somebody who is working from home at the moment, a lot of us are working from home or doing our university or school Zoom classes from home, having three or even two monitors can really be a huge upgrade for your workspace at home. And if you're somebody who is looking to potentially transition into working full time from home once things go back to normal, a three monitor setup is really beneficial. I myself am a university student and do a lot of work for my content here at the setup you see behind me. At the start of the pandemic, I only had just a tiny little laptop screen for all of my Zooms and my Microsoft Word files and anything I had open at the time. And that became really painful and hard to manage. So I went and hooked up a spare monitor that I had lying around and plugged it into my laptop and it was a game changer. And then adding a third on top of that, as you see behind me now, has helped my productivity and just my general workflow while I'm in class a lot. I'm able to have the one zoom screen on one screen. I can have my notebook open on one screen and then a browser for whatever material I need to access online. Now, in contrast to this, if you don't plan to use your space, your setup for work or content, and you just plan to use it for casual relaxation and recreation kind of stuff, then three monitors may potentially be overkill. By all means, I'm not telling you don't. If you really want three monitors, absolutely go for it. Go to your heart's content. But if you're planning to just game with your friends and not stream, create content, you know, you're not gonna use it for work or school or anything like that, three monitors potentially could be a little bit overkill. Not to mention, of course, only some graphics cards can handle three monitors. Most graphics cards can handle one monitor because that's what they're designed for. The vast majority can handle two, but 
there is a smaller subset that can handle three or higher. One monitor for your game and then another monitor for your Discord or for your browser that you've got open while you're gaming with your friends, you're playing Minecraft, Fortnite, whatever it is you wanna play, or you're just hanging out with your friends on a Zoom call is perfectly fine and there's you know, no need for a third monitor. But you may choose to want a third monitor because you like the way it looks. And I mean, that's totally fair because I like the way it looks quite a lot. Something also to consider when buying monitors and looking at two as against three is your budget, of course. Quite often you'll be able to find when you're buying a computer that companies will bulk an item together with a whole bunch of their, say, peripherals and their monitors. Now, most often it'll come with one, but I've seen it in most cases that it can come with two in a package deal. You know, you buy one monitor, get the other one 30% off or something like that. And then when you're obviously adding a third monitor, you're not getting any discount or anything like that. And then, of course, if you're paying full retail price for all three, you're gonna, of course, want to be making sure you're getting some use out of that third. Something also to consider is your power capabilities on your computer and just really how much it can handle. I mentioned the graphics card before, only certain graphics cards will be able to hold three monitors. Most graphics cards these days can hold three monitors because that's just the way they are being built. But if you're buying, say, an older computer or a really cheap end graphics card just because you need a graphics card, chances are you may only be able to get one monitor, maybe two. But this also applies to your power uh, bank and supply in your computer. Now, if you're on a laptop, of course, this does not apply, but if you're on a PC with a power supply, you're gonna wanna make sure you're not actually, you know, over exerting the PC by making it have three monitors. The same way you apply thinking about a graphics card to a power supply, you wanna be doing that same thing for the monitors as well. So in summary, I personally do recommend three monitors only if you are someone who uses your computer a lot and has an, a vast need for screen real estate. I do recommend checking out the benefits of ultra wide monitors video. As I mentioned, it's gonna be linked above and in the description below. Uh, that may be an alternative for you if you do not wish to go the three monitor route. But if you're somebody who's just gaming and casually using a computer, one or even two monitors may potentially be enough for you, but obviously it is your personal choice. And if you really want three monitors, there's nothing that I can do to stop you. And I mean, three monitors look fantastic. Like I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to join our fantastic uh, community we've got. I'm posting tech content about gaming setups and all sorts of stuff here uh, once a week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your time zone and until next time, bye-bye.